In the previous tutorial, we inserted this first part to our first assembly. In talking about inserting parts, there are many different ways you can follow to insert your parts. So, as we remember, we saw the browse menu where we could browse for our part. But before that, we talked in this tutorial about assemblies and assemblies parts have a different extension than the parts so for example let's have a look here we have three different parts and you can see the type of the file is different for the standard part document it has the name solidworks part and for the assemblies you have a different types for solidworks assembly documents so they have different extensions so <clears throat> this is one point and then now let's try to delete this assembly don't save and before creating a new assembly let's just open that part before so now we have our part is opened here and when we start to create assembly you have an options called the make assembly from part so this is another way to start to assembly in the previous tutorial we did that by creating new then assembly so there's another way that you can try to make assembly from part now let's just try the first method click new I'm going to show something but simply click ok so as you remember we opened that part 2 before starting this assembly so you will see that part 2 is here in the list of props so this way can be time saving if you have your parts already open or you have been working with them and you will be able to see them here so you can click here and then you insert your part also we said about something about positioning let's go and try to show where this part is inserted you can go to show origin so now you will notice that this part origin is inserted far from the assembly origin so you have two different origins so this um, an important issue you have to think about it because if you will have an assembly you should know your origin that might be important for your parts to know their origin so in the next tutorial when we start talking about mates we will try to fix it with the mates method also in this tutorial we're going to try to find another way to try to position that part into that origin so in this tutorial we're going to continue talking about inserting part also you have another way to insert your component you have insert component and again the browse menu will be open and again you will be able to start or add another part this we're going to talk about in the next tutorial so here let's close this menu and close this simply don't save and we have this part is open we said there's another way there you can start to assembly you can go to file make assembly from part so you have the same menu exactly as if you click on new simply so you have this part is selected then you can put it somewhere on that assembly so let's close that assembly and show you another way for creating another assembly so let's just minimize this window and this you can you simply okay and see you have to window you can also try to make them tighter horizontally so you have this part and you have your assembly so you will be able to so there is another way to insert your parts just by 
dragging them directly to the assembly interface but before doing that we saw there's an issue that you have to know where you are positioning your part let's show the origin here and also show the origin here so now you are able to see both origins and then you are able to pick this part and match it with the origin of that so try to drag it on that origin and you're done click ok in the next tutorial when we start talking about mates this might be quite tricky to place your part on the origin so when we start talking about mates we will find a easier way to position your origin so see you in the next tutorial